This time on the stagecoach, we need to make this side look like this side. To do that, first thing we need to make is, is make this side thicker using the strips provided that are like two millimeter by five millimeter. And there's an order you want to do it. You want to do the lines underneath the windows first, the uprights underneath the window, those pieces. Then you start boxing out the top two pieces and doing the flats around here and come in and fill in the bottoms. This is all going to be shaped and sanded. One thing that's important to consider is these squares on the top here are not rounded over. They are left, I can see how well you can see that, but they are left flat on top so that piece of wood can go on top of them. These are blended in, this is all rounded over, and these are rounded over here. First thing we need to do, like I said, is start with the pieces that go right here. And they're just going to get glued on in place, and they're just providing a thickness to this in here. And when all said and done, it's going to be pretty darn thick, the size of the coach. The glue mine, I'm just using uh, super glue, sand acrylate. Fitting them on, I cut them off the length after they're glued on for the most part. So I can make sure they fit. And like I said, these ones here are going to go right, upright, upright, you know, on edge, on edge, on edge. Go over on the sides here, it's going to be flat. Top is going to be flat. And on the bottom between the, underneath the door is going to be flat. So it all gets rounded down a lot. At the same time, when I did this side, I did the door. Went ahead and several steps into the door so that I can make, see it get it somewhat close on this curve here when I sand it. So let's get started on this part. And like I said, I am just doing a rough cut. So if I'll come here, do a rough cut here. So I can shape a piece that goes in so I can get a piece glued in here. I'll do that on both sides. And I'll get the pieces that come down the door at the same time. When I glue them in, I'll start on one in here and get it so it's like pretty much level. Then I'll, you know, level with the bottom of the door so it's the same plane as this door. And I'll get this curve up and I'll glue and clamp it in place and get it so it's got a nice curve there. This wood's never going to be seen again once everything's covered. So it doesn't have to look good, it doesn't have to be perfect. If it's a little bit low below this edge, you can actually just fill it in with some wood filler. So you have something else to glue to. So I'll get this first part done and come on back. So I got these pieces here in place, not trimmed to length or anything, obviously. Um, this one's a little bit crooked, but once you get everything sanded straight and another piece put on there that winds the door, you'll never notice it. This piece is in place, comes up, all this curve fairly close. I can just do a little back filling in there and get it perfect if I want to. But again, there's going to be another piece that goes on top of that. Never notice it. Now we're going to go ahead and go ahead and start building up this way on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these uprights all the way to the top. And then I'll do these pieces that go across. Of course, before I do the pieces that go across, I have to do this same, same thing on this side. So I'll get that going, and we'll come back once I have everything on here, and we start looking at the top pieces here. Okay, I have these pieces in, these pieces in, these two pieces up here in, trimmed down to make them the right height. I have all these in, all these in. Next is just to start filling in this area here. The instructions show that every one of these is curved. Doesn't matter. All you're doing is putting structure in behind your next layer of wood. So all this that you put in here to make a nice little fan is going to be covered up. You'll never see it again. All you're doing is adding structure to glue to. So you just cut a bunch of pieces, start going around here. The way I did on the other side is I did a piece like this. And the next piece I put in this way. And the next piece I put in this way. So I just went back and forth. Just filled this whole area in. That way I end up with a herringbone pattern in the center 
<clears throat> excuse me, but truth be told, you could just put them all this way, you'd probably be fine. But I'm going to do it the way the instructions show, I'm going to do the fan. So I'll get that done, we'll come back and see how it looks. And there we have all those woods in place. So now I just got to sand this outer edge and these faces here and then shape this stuff down. Um, this is going to be sanded down until the point right here is the same height as this and this entire edge is going to be paper thin. So basically it's going to be this curve that comes up like this where it's going to be really to the same thickness as this and sand it down. But up here and these things here are going to see the full thickness. And the same thing up here, this will be sanded down to be curved. But these two pieces here will stay full thickness. And then after that we can start putting the covering on. When you're doing this, make sure you do your door at the same time. It's step 35 on the door when you start that. But you're going to want to be able to get the door in here so you can shape the door and the side of the stagecoach to the same curve at the bottom of the door. Because the bottom of the door gets curved to match the stagecoach side. So don't forget to do that. And when I did this the door, I put the inside on as well so that it matches flush to the inside of the stagecoach when I start shaping it. And then I put a label on This is number two, number two. This side number one, the door on this side has a number one on the inside. That way I can hopefully keep the curves matching and keep the door straight, which one's which. Now, I am a little concerned I'm not going to have enough of the outer coating, but we'll see where it go, how far it takes me and what I have to do to make it up. In the meantime, I'm going to get this all shaped up. These ends, I'm just sitting here with a pair of side cutters and just cutting them off. Close to flush. That way, everything is just out of my way. Be fine when it's loose. Re glue it because you need these to be fairly strong for your sanding. Get that down, you can just take your sanding, whatever sanding stick you're using, and just grind them down so they're flush. You don't want to taper this piece here on the bottom, you want to keep your sanding stick kind of flat with it and get these things here so that they're flush to the edge. Don't worry about the top, they're gonna to get pretty much shaved off anyway. Get that out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and get this shaped. When I start taking this stuff down to the angle, <clears throat> I'm going to use my little uh, block plane here and just come in and just start shaving it down. Oh, that one there took off a big chunk. Hopefully, I'll, I'll probably have to fill that back in, but it took off a big chunk. So. But there's plenty of this wood I can fill that in, put a piece, piece on either side of it. I'm going to get this shape down and we can come back and we start covering it. And there we go with a lot of sanding and shaping. All these parts are down now and make a nice little curve here. Um, pay particular attention when you're sanding to this point here, 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 and here because you want this curve to come down and meet at this spot here on each, each, each area. That we can get a nice smooth curve at this point as well. Um, so I have to sand down the door to get the right curve down here, but in the meantime this thing is about ready for planking. <laughs> We're doing that, so what I'm actually going to do is start one, with one plank. I'm going to run it side to side right down here at the base of these two pieces all the way across and that gives me a nice straight line to go all the way across with so that as I come down hopefully they meet up below the door nice and even and then also working up from this point fill in these things come all the way up across here and then cover these as well one thing you can do is just come up here and just cover up these two points up here just to give you a nice easy start and then come down and do these <coughs> <coughs> excuse me but when i was sanding this i used 
uh, gouge, plane, and a sanding stick. Nice, fairly stiff one. So you can still go on the curves, but doesn't bend and try to get weird divots and stuff. To do the door, to sand it, you can just come through. A couple ways you can do it. You can come through and just mark where the curve starts here all the way across and then sand it down to where the curve should end right here. Or you can do like I did on the other one, just clamp it in place and sand it. Put a piece of wood here, a piece of wood here, clamp it in place, and then very gently carve and sand it down. I'm going to take care of that off camera. But in the meantime, all I'm doing with this stuff these planks here, and I'm just using the wood glue, clamping it down and putting it in place. Just like on the interior, the floor. And once this is done on the outside, we can start working on the details on the outside. But in the meantime, let me get this done. We'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, so I have the entire exterior done on both sides. And starting on the stuff that goes around here. Instructions will show you starting with the center line and doing planks on either side of that. What happens is on this edge, let me show it here really quick. If you do it the way they say it, you end up with a very thin piece over here on both sides. So put one right down the center. What you end up with is a white piece, and you can take a piece from this side glue it on, very carefully trim it off, and then put it on this side. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, and we'll come back and see how it looks. So here we have both sides done now. I've gone ahead and I've done the planking on the outside. This is just the really thin stuff like I'm going to use on the inside here. Uh, I went ahead and put it on. Um, their instructions show to put two pieces on either side of the center line. But if you do that, you end up with a really thin piece here you have to put in place. So I put one piece down the center, piece either side, and then the piece that comes around here, you have this much to work with, but then what they'll cut it from here came off to this side. It just fits, at least for me. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And we'll see what it looks like. So there we are, all cleaned up. Looking pretty good. I have a gap here. I got to glue and tape again. I'll take care of that off camera. I have a bit here where the, the wood came off. I'm not really worried about it because there's a piece that goes on the face and a piece that goes on this edge and that corner won't be seen again. Because I'm pretty sure it won't. Have some gaps in here. I'm going to see about filling up. Um, I think this is going to be close enough because it's just going to be in the gap itself. If you can get a, something get a closer match, it'd be better, but this is what I could find. This is just a red mahogany, red chestnut, red oak, sedina red. It's a little dark, but I think it'll work fine. So with that, I'll go ahead and get this taped up, and next time when we come back, this will be all ready to go, and we'll, we can start doing... Uh, I believe it's all the frames around the doors and windows. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.